Hello there and welcome to the Lamex Stadium for the first leg of the first Blue Square Premier Playoff semi-final between Stevenage Borough and Cambridge United. Paul Parker is alongside Steve Bauer in the commentary box. The two teams are in the tunnel here, ready to get this two-legged semi-final underway for the right to go to Wembley Stadium on May the 17th to contest a place in the promised land that is the Football League. Burton Albion are already there as champions for the first time in their history. Will it be one of these two teams that will be joining them come the middle of May? It's a dream for both of them. It's a perfect evening for football, and this is the team news for the semi-final first leg. Stevenage are without the suspended Mitchell Cole, of course, so Junior Mendes starts on the left. They welcome back John Ashton in defence, and Lee Boylan, who 12 months ago played for Cambridge in last year's final at Wembley, starts up front for their manager, Graham Wesley. We're playing with a 4-4-2 tonight, although you probably look at it at times and think that it's 4-2-4. We're playing with a really aggressive formation. We want to go and get after the game, we want to go and win it. You'll see at the back, Chris Day, um, Mark Robertson, John Ashton playing as our two and a halves. Scotty Laird at left back and Ronnie Henry at right back. Both like to get on. Both those boys you see him pushing and joining the wide boys on a frequent basis. Junior Mendes playing down the left hand side. Murphy and uh, Michael Boswick playing in the middle. And Andy Drury back from injury playing on the right hand side. Those two play really advanced right up against the full backs. And down the middle we've got Steve Morrison and Lee Boylan plundering the goals for us, we hope. I'm expecting some atmosphere tonight. And it's smoking already. Well, the Cambridge team news is a shock. Four changes from the final day. Most notably, leading scorer Scott Rendell, who, remember, has got 15 goals this season, and his partner Chris Holroyd left on the bench. Lee Phillips and Danny Crow in from the start up front, and a different shape for their manager, Gary Brabin. Yeah, today we're going to go with three at the back. Um, Joe Josh Coulson, Phil Bollins, Wayne Atwell, Danny Potter in goal. Right wing back, we've got Dan Gleeson. Left wing back, Andy Tonkin. Paul Carden just in front with Jay Reason, John Challen in the midfield. And up front, we've got Lee Phillips and Danny Crow. So the scene is the Lamech Stadium. We've had 46 games. It now comes down to these two. And for one of these two teams, another one to try and get into the Football League. And in Stevenage's case, of course, it would be for the first time in their history for Cambridge United. It would end four seasons at this level after 35 years as a Football League club. That's Lee Boylan, the former Cambridge player who was a loser with tonight's visitors just 12 months ago at Wembley. Be interested to see how the change of shape affects Cambridge United tonight. This is young Jay Reason. Early ball in from him. Danny Crow was chasing and he won it. Tonkin, the left wing back tonight. And that is a Stevenage throw. We should say good evening to Paul Parker, who's alongside me tonight. How do you see this one? I think this is a tough one to close off them. You look at all the sides in the playoffs so far, they've all stuttered into it. There's been no one really will come in with any momentum, so at the moment, I think we just need to wait to see the way the game is going to go before we can maybe identify any side who has actually got a decent pattern of play or maybe just um, take control of the game. It's been a decent start, just seen by Cambridge, looking to get forward with this new shape they've got. Reason. Did well. Well, he's furious because the referee has given a corner there. I'm surprised at that. Jay Reason's done really well, kept his feet. Scott Laird has come in trying to win the ball. Every right to try and win it. And I'll tell you what, I think it goes straight for his leg. Just might be in that back foot where I can't see if there was a touch. Well, Could it be Stephen is do anything from this corner, there'll be an almighty inquest. They have plenty up as well. Roberts, Ashton and Morrison all lining up. The first corner of the game, it's taken them 46 minutes, Stevenage. Well, there was a late challenge there whilst the referee was speaking to the player taking the corner. It was Murphy with the challenge, infuriated the Cambridge United players. The referee didn't see it because he'd gone over to talk to Drury, who was about to retake the corner. He's made a late run, Murphy, towards the near post as the, as the three players come out. And that's why, that's why Chandler's down. There was definitely a collision between the two players. 
let's have a look at this. In comes Murphy. It's just a clash of heads. I don't know whether it was intended. No need to do it. It was definitely after the whistle was blown. The referee has now spoke to his assistant. Straight red. Stevenage down to 10 men for the second game running. And the Irishman, Darren Murphy, who arrived in January from Cork City, has been sent off. Well, I, I do find that strange. He's made a run across. He catches him after the whistle has gone, so the referee actually stops it. But I find that strange that he sent him off. As far as I was concerned, no intent. It's interesting when if he hears the whistle, Darren Murphy as he comes across. Uh, he's challenged for the ball without a shadow of a doubt. It wasn't even worth a yellow card, to be honest. I don't, don't know if he's got any help on that one of your referee, but if someone has helped him, they've definitely got it wrong. 